Cape Verde consists of a series of islands just off the west coast of Africa. It was discovered by the Portuguese in 1456, becoming the first permanent European settlement in the tropics. And I said discovered because the islands were previously uninhabited. The Portuguese used it as a slave trading transition center, and as a result, most slaves shipped out of West Africa to the Americas passed through Cape Verde. Cape Verde grew so rich from the slave trade that it became a favorite target for pirates, including Francis Drake, who raided it twice. After Portugal abolished slavery in the 19th century, the islands became just another Portuguese colony. But from 1961, many Cape Verdeans joined Portuguese Guinea in an armed struggle for independence against Portugal. After the 1974 Carnation Revolution in Portugal, the new Portuguese government granted independence to all its African colonies of Angola, Mozambique, Guinea, Sao Tome and Principe, and Cape Verde. Unfortunately, Cape Verde's main independence leader, Amilcar Cabral, had been assassinated in 1973 before he could see an independent Cape Verde. The Portuguese claimed to have had nothing to do with it, although they were suspected of having masterminded his assassination. And also, unfortunately, like many African countries post-independence, Cape Verde fell into one-party rule until 1990 when it was replaced by a democracy which continues today as one of Africa's most stable democracies. It also has one of Africa's most stable economies and it is also a mecca for water sports.